2020 has been a crazy chaotic year, but if you're a fan of Will Osborne, it's been probably the best year since 1938. Since the beginning of this year, so much of Will's stuff has been brought up online for the first time in decades for people to listen to and watch, or see even. For here on YouTube, it's been by mostly me, Brian, Andy Delise, Will Adams, uh, Bob through the Rick Cologne collection, and countless others as well. The majority of it being compiled into one playlist that I made months ago, which is now the highest viewed thing on the entirety of my channel, so you guys obviously love it too. During this time, we have discovered so many things that haven't been heard in decades, including film, radio, picture, records, and other things as well. Many of you guys have become fans of Will Osborne as well, so because of that and my own love for him, I've decided to collect everything I know about him in the best way I know how. I've decided to write a book about Will. It's going to be called Will Osborne, The Fashion Plate of Music. This book is going to cover his entire story from beginning to end, all the way from his early days growing up in Toronto, all the way to his last days in California, and everything in between. His entire career will be covered in its entirety. Everything from the sidemen, singers, radio, film, everything, everything that has to do with Will, will be covered. A new light will be shed on old myths and stories, including the radio duels with Rudy Valley, all the way up to how Will even got his new style of music, the glissando based slide music he used in the later 30s. Now I'm still writing the book as we speak, so it's not going to be done for at least a year and a half if not more. So let's get down to the details of the actual book itself. Firstly, prior to this book's start, back in June, there's been basically nothing about Will written that's more than a page or two since the 70s, if not earlier. So I'm actually having to get so much of my information from smaller articles and other things trying to triangulate all of the information together. I'm going to take as much time as it needs to get everything perfectly straight, perfectly clear, factual, and correct. I want to get everything perfect. Will deserves that much. If I just released it now, incomplete, 50 odd pages or so, it would still be the most longest thing ever written about him, the most factual and complete thing ever. But of course, some details are naturally just going to be lost just because of how, that's how time is. I'm planning on there being at least 20 chapters throughout the book, one for each year of significance between 1929 and 1946, as well as chapters for before that and after that, as well as a few sections for reference as well. Those including his entire discography, a list of all known singers and sidemen and bands, as well as a year-by-year -year schedule of every known radio broadcast he ever did. There will be at least 50 pictures all throughout the book, including pictures of Will, other people of significance, other places he was at and other engagements, advertisements, and many other things as well. There will be quotes from Will littered all throughout the book, as well as many interviews from other people who met him and even from his still-living stepson in the book as well. Now it's way too early to talk about prices or other things like that, but it's not going to be anywhere near a hundred bucks when it comes out, I promise. It's going to be self-published, paperback, hopefully on Amazon and other places as well. It's already copyrighted and other things too. And as we speak, I'm actually working on a rough book cover design. And now also because I'm making a book about Will, I'm actually going to be cutting back on a lot of details I give about him from here on out. Actually, I'm going to be cutting back almost entirely on any new info that comes out about him. But I'll give you this one for free. You might be wondering why the title is the way it is in the book. Well, you see back then, almost everybody of significance had their own nicknames back then. You know, Bing Crosby was the old groaner, Rudy Valley had several including the Vagabond Lover, Russ Colombo had uh, the Valentino of Radio, but then there's Will that had several of his own. But the only one that really stuck out and described all of him was the fashion plate of music, which is another way of saying that he was thought of as an example of what music should sound like. But that's about it from me. I gotta get back to writing. I'll try to answer your questions and concerns and things like that in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you guys around.